Filters have long played a key role in photography, and these effects are now replicated in the social media filters that you've probably used to improve your own photos. Filters often stylize, saturate, correct, or transform a photo with bolder effects to achieve a certain look. And Photoshop has a variety of filters that can help you enhance your photos. For example, you could add a creative filter to make your image look like an oil painting. But filters in Photoshop are used for so much more than just making your photo look more creative. In Photoshop, you can actually use filters to reproduce certain photography techniques like sharpening a photo to emphasize detail or adding a soft blur to create a dreamy mood. Take a look at this portrait, for example. Often, portrait photographers like to give a soft and dreamlike look to their images. But if you don't have the right light or gear to get that look in your camera, how you can improve your photos? Well, that's where Photoshop filters come in. You can add a blur filter to this photo and then use a mask to keep some areas in focus. If you need a refresher on how layer masks work, take a look at our earlier tutorials. If you compare the two versions, you can see that the blur effect helped to soften the edges of the face and the background. This makes those areas recede while the subject's face stands out. So let's recap. You can add basic filters to change the look of your photo. And even more importantly, you can use filters to recreate photography techniques like sharpening and blurring and apply these effects to just part of a photo with the help of layer masks. Now is your turn. Practice these skills on your own photos. It all starts with one photograph. <laughs>